welcome to version 2.0 of these full face of videos. I'd like to mention that the first channel where I saw anyone doing this was actually on Alana, I love that name, Alana Davison's channel. Um, she actually has a series called Full Face Fridays, yeah, where she does like a full face of new makeup, full face testing new products, full face using no, nothing new. I love those videos. So um, I was very inspired by those videos. I've seen a few other YouTubers that I follow do them. Um, and when I put up the poll, you guys voted that I do both drugstore and high end. So here we are, version 2.0. Today, I'm going to be doing a full face of only drugstore makeup. Um, I have a huge collection of drugstore makeup. Excuse me. I already have like a pretty good selection of drugstore makeup in my stash, but I think I've already used a lot of, a lot of those products in videos that I've filmed before. So I did want to kind of try out some newer products that are in the drugstore and just pick up makeup that... I thought was gonna be fun and different and who doesn't like like I who doesn't like buying new makeup? I'll wait. Okay. So I'm obsessed with makeup. I love buying new makeup. I don't care if it's drugstore or high end. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it on my face. And that's what today's video is all about. So I actually did go to Walgreens to pick up some makeup items that I wanted to test out today for you guys. So you'll see as I go, I'm going to mention which products are new and uh, let's get into this video. Before you go, please don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel so you can catch future content from me and comment down below some of your drugstore favorites. I'd love to hear from you guys and see what I should be trying out from the drugstore that I maybe don't already have in my stash. We're going to have our sip of our coffee because we need energy. This is the second video. This is the second video I'm filming today. And it's a busy day, so we need our energy. And honestly, I just love coffee anyways. I don't need an excuse to drink it. I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Lotion. This is a natural glow enhancer, and I purchased this in the shade 902, which is like glow. And this is the one I got from Walgreens. I think I saw Kelly Strack here on YouTube talk about it and she tested this out or put it on in one of her recent videos. She said that she uses this on a daily basis. So um, if you guys have already seen my full face of high-end makeup, if you haven't, you should go watch that after this. Did you guys see that? Um, I mentioned that I recently tried out, by the way, I'm just doing a small pump. I'm gonna mix this into the face. So if you saw that video, you would have seen that I talked about, um, ooh, this is a really nice texture. Wow, this is actually, ooh. What I like about this, just off the jump, I just literally apply this to my face. It's not extremely shiny or glittery, which I found the Becca liquid highlighter to be. It was a little bit more on the glittery side and a little bit harsh. This is actually the perfect mix between glowy, like a glow, this really is a glotion, it's a glowy lotion. This feels really nice on the skin and it's melting in very well. The color is beautiful. It doesn't look too light on my skin, so honest, honestly, I could probably like just wear this and get away with it on a day where I don't wanna wear makeup, but I wanna look a lot healthier or I want my skin to glow and just shine. Where am I going with this? I set out the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, like the liquid version. It's just a liquid highlighter in the shade Opal. And while it was so beautiful on the skin, it did damage. I broke out so bad. My skin is getting a little bit better as the days goes on because um, I'm using, I'm not using makeup. Today is an exception, of course, because I'm filming makeup videos for you guys, but it was not good. I read a lot of reviews. You know what, just watch that video. You'll see me talk all about it, but I was very disappointed with that. And um, now we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Concealer. I have the shade 445, which is the shade Vanilla. 
I love this foundation. I just find that it looks so beautiful on the skin. It just makes my skin look amazing. And I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite drugstore tools, which is the Real Technique sponge. And I'm actually gonna try, I'm just squeezing up the excess water that's on the sponge. But I'm gonna be bold today and I'm actually gonna apply my foundation with a sponge, which if you've seen my videos, any of my videos, you would notice I don't do that. Um, but let's try today. Let's see if we, let's see how this goes. It's looking really beautiful and natural. Oh my God. Great. I just got like two little friends on my face. I will say it looks really good when you apply it with the sponge. I will need a lot more coverage though. Like I applied two pumps of that and that's all I got. So I'm going to just work pump by pump and apply this, but it makes the foundation look really natural on the skin. And in general, I find that this foundation does look super, super natural. Doesn't emphasize your texture. Like, look at that. That just looks so healthy. That looks super healthy on my skin. I actually don't mind the way this is applying with the sponge. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealers. I'm going to mix the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium beige with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 360 Cashmere. Um, I find that the e.l.f., as you can tell, it's a little bit more on the darker side, but I love the coverage that it provides. Okay, so we're gonna blend a little bit of cashmere. This is definitely a lighter shade. Okay, that was super crooked. Super crooked. So now we're gonna blend the concealer in and look, you're gonna see how well the coverage is on this. When I first tried both of these concealers out in my drugstore tutorial, I'm not gonna lie, I hated them. The shades are just so off and they look so bad that I was like a little turned off, but I didn't give up. I literally would go, like every time I visited the drugstore, I would try to find my perfect shade and now, like, the two of these together is just high coverage, full coverage, glam. Like, look at that. That is full coverage. It's covering up all of your problems, all of your regrets. Now for cream contour, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is in the shade Honey number 415. We are going to chisel these cheekbones. We're gonna fake a tan. Now I'm using the e.l.f. small stippling brush. I mentioned both of these products in my March favorites. You guys should check that out. I mentioned so many good dewy makeup products that have me glowing in the month of March, and I'm gonna continue to use them until the summertime. By the way, don't be worried if your contour looks a little bit rough, we can fix that. But the key is just to work in small, circular motions. I hate when my hair gets in the freaking way. And just work in small, circular motions. And then the same for here. And what's great about this is that even when you blend this in, it doesn't get rid of the coverage. Here's down here. And as you can tell, that was pretty easy to blend. 
put some down the nose. I'm just gonna apply a little on the jawline so we could chisel the jawline out. So we're looking bronzed. Fabulous. And now, since we obviously apply too much, I'm just gonna go in with this same sponge we use and just blend everything together. And it'll pick up all the extra color that was just sitting on top. And now we're gonna jump in to, oh, we have to set, honey, we have to set this. We don't wanna look crazy. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm in the shade 10 Fair Light. This is a beautiful powder to bake and just set everything in place. I'm just blending out the creases under the eyes. And now we're just going to set. I'm gonna set a lot here because I got super oily around my nose. On the chin, the nose, definitely the forehead. Now I'm gonna just wipe off the excess powder. Next step is eyebrows. I'll go ahead and do them. I'm gonna fast forward this part, but I am using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. So we're just going to do our brows. Throw some music on. Actually, first, um, I feel like my face is looking a little bit dry. So I'm actually going to set my face with the Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water. This is another product I mentioned. And my monthly favorites, but it's so good. At Walgreens, I picked up this NYX Professional Ultimate Edit eyeshadow palette. This is the Warm Neutrals palette. These shades are right up my alley. I knew I'd be able to create a simple eye look, an everyday makeup look. So first, I'm going to go in with this bone colored shade. I'm just going to apply that all over. I need more brushes. Right. I'm going to use this crown brush. This doesn't have a number, but I'm going to just apply that all over the lid just as a nice kind of just to set everything in place and create a blank canvas for the shadows. Now, I'm going to grab my Sigma E25 brush. You guys are sick of hearing it? I know. But now I'm going to mix these two shades. This I'm going to mix this brown shade with this kind of brick, light brick shade. I don't know. I'm going to mix those two together. I really haven't tried that many NYX eyeshadow palette. I have one. Um, it's the ultimate palette and it has like bright colors. I use that in my um, Valentine's Day tutorial. And they, came, they actually surprised me those shadows. Ooh. Okay, that's definitely very pigmented. I wasn't expecting it to be that dark, but touche. Challenge. Fun. So I'm just going to blend this into the crease. I really like the combination of those two colors. Probably should have been a little bit more light-handed, but that's all right. And I'm going to just wing this out a little bit. Incorporate this NYX Vivid Brights Colored Liquid Liner. This is the shade Vivid Halo. It's just like a bright neon yellow. I don't know if I can make it work, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. 
All right, so, oh my God, way too much. Getting a clean brush, just blending that all out. Okay, that looks much better after you blend it out. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with that bone shape and I'm gonna apply that under the brow. Sonia Kashuk 106 brush. Alright, this is not really doing much highlighting the brow, but whatever. Okay. Apply the shades I used under my eye. So I'm first gonna go, I'm gonna actually mix the brown shade, the bone, and this brick shade together. And apply that under my eye. And just tie the two together. Sure, let's. Apply shadow on our actual eyeball. Put a little bit of that bone shade on the lid. Just a little bit. And then just blend that out. Right. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to attempt to apply this liner. Um, I don't think I've ever used any lip NYX liners before. I really can't remember, to be honest, but let's give this a go. Let's see if I can make this work. This is what the packaging looks like. It's not super neon, which is what I was expecting. Thing. And the brush is like kind of like it's not like a felt tip, it's one of those. I don't even know what you describe it. I don't like brushes like this, so um, we'll see. Oh, it definitely dries down the pretty matte, which I don't mind. I like that it dries. And I'm glad I applied this before doing my lashes because I think, okay, I think if I did my lashes before and then apply this on top, that would have been a major disaster. Okay. All right, we've created our tail. Whew. We can breathe a little bit. So the falsies that I'm going to go in with are the um, Kiss Chiffon Lashes. Sorry, I was just on the phone, but I went ahead and just applied Bottom Lash Mascara. applied some to my lashes, and now we're going to finish the face. I'm going to go ahead and use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the lighter shade. And I'm just going to use... Oh, okay, no. I don't love that. I'm just gonna use this crown brush. It doesn't have a name or number on it. I'm just gonna quickly apply some of that on there just to set the cream products that we put underneath, just to help everything blend. The bronzer. Next step is um, 
blush. So I already, while I was at Walgreens, I picked up the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush in the shade Fantastical. I thought I picked up Bashful. Whatever. I picked up the shade Fantastical. It just looks like a nice, pretty peach shade. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk number 113 brush. I really like this for blush because I feel like it doesn't put too much color on the cheeks, but just enough. It's pretty, like I said. This is definitely not a shade that's too pigmented, so you could build it up to your liking, but I think it looks nice. Very light, peachy, glowy. I think this, you know, we could make this happen. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. I'm just gonna go in very quickly and just do a little color down the nose. Boom, done. All right, so we have our bronzer done. We're pretty much almost at the finish line. So now what I'm gonna do is set my face and prepare it for highlight. Going in with that same Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water. I could literally swim in this. It's so amazing. For one of the five, oh, my highlighter. Okay, so for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Pixie, the Pixie Delicate Dew Highlighter. This is what I like. I consider this drugstore because you can find it at Target, although it's not sold in other drugstores. It's an affordable highlighter, it's an affordable product. And I mean, just look at that. I'm only gonna apply a small amount because a little bit goes a long way. And I don't want to be too, too glowy, which is crazy to think, but I'm just going to apply just a little bit. And I'm mostly using this, this shade, which is more on the gold side. Going a little here, oh, a little there, a little bit on the cupid's bow, on the chin. And we're done with the highlighter. Bam, in your face. Hello. Now for lips, I'm going to use the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in the shade Beyond Nude. These lip liners are so bomb. They're super pigmented and creamy and easy to use. Let's go ahead and apply some lip liner. Girl, we're getting crazy here. I feel like having a sharpened lip liner really helps your lips look their best. I don't know. Now I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I have the shade Sweet Tube. So what I'd like to do is apply it and then use my finger to just tap that in. I'm gonna go in one with, I'm gonna go in with one more layer. Super extra, but I don't know. It's fine by doing this, it looks the best. Perfect. Now we have a nice matte lip. It's what I've been into lately, just straight up matte lips. One more round of the Wet n Wild Coconut Spray. Give our skin some love. So. This is the completed makeup look. 
how shocked are we that I used some color on my liner and stepped out of my comfort zone. I um, like this video. If you know, it was a lot for me to step out of my comfort zone. But I really, really like the way all of the products worked on my skin. Everything looks so beautiful. That L'Oreal foundation looks so beautiful by applying it with that Real Techniques brush. Uh, I'm sorry, sponge. So I definitely, definitely think I'll be using that sponge a lot more to apply my foundations, especially for a more natural and just healthy look. So yeah. Um, please like this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my content and I just want to say this was super fun to record if you guys want to see any other full face videos maybe a full face testing new makeup full face of, pro of nothing new I've seen that going around as well just let me know down in the comments and yeah make sure to follow me on Instagram my name is at Daniela Minervini NUA I'll also tag that down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.